OpenAI was founded on the belief that artificial intelligence has the potential to improve nearly every aspect of our lives, but also that it creates serious risks. ChatGPT has been revolutionizing the world with its overwhelming capability to engage the audience with its conversational tone, and at the same time, enriching the content with comprehensible vocabulary. And now, it is back again in the news when OpenAI recently announced GPT-4, its next-generation AI language model designed to handle visual prompts like a drawing, graph, or infographic. But recently, it has been in the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Are you ready to find out? According to a survey of cybersecurity leaders conducted in 2023, 51% believe that an AI-based tool such as ChatGPT will be used in a successful data breach in the coming year. But before going to the nitty-gritty of the topic, it is necessary to understand how ChatGPT evolved and what its capabilities are. Let us first trace the history of ChatGPT. The ChatGPT model was first published in 2018, with GPTs 2 and 3 set for 2019 and 2020, respectively. These models were trained on a tremendous amount of textual information, often derived from the internet and analyzed for statistical patterns. These patterns are used to predict what word will be followed by another. Later in 2022, when the company finally launched ChatGPT based on GPT 3.5 that anyone could access, it triggered a frenzy in the tech world, with Microsoft soon following it with its own AI chatbot in Bing and even Google trying to catch up. But now it is on a whole new level with many market players trying to lead the artificial intelligence program. Ever wonder what is in it that makes it exceptional and super cool to use? Let's dive in and understand the subtle yet contrasting differences that OpenAI has tried to introduce. From what we've collected from various newsletters and from OpenAI itself, let us look more into its capabilities. The company claims that the new model is more creative and more collaborative and can solve difficult problems with greater accuracy. It can understand both text and image input. Though it can only respond via text, OpenAI also cautions that the system may retain many of the same problems as earlier language models, including a tendency to make up information or hallucinate, and the capacity to generate violent and harmful text. It can process images alongside text, the major difference OpenAI has been boasting about, but ever wondered how it works in real-time scenarios? When the New York Times showed the interior of a fridge and asked GPT-4 what meals you can make with the ingredients, it did come up with some recipes, both sweet and savory. Awesome, right? It can also create the code for a website based on a hand-drawn sketch, which obviously has been tested out and shown by OpenAI through an embedded video, which you can obviously watch from the link given in the description. And OpenAI is also working with a startup that uses object recognition or human volunteers to help with vision problems. The ability to identify the humor in a meme makes it more human-like. <laughs> You'll find it amusing if you're a meme lover. The way it makes puns is way better than any human could ever possibly do. Oh, and it can also play with language by being creative and even impactful. GPT-4 did a better job of summarizing the text when compared to its precedents. Another interesting feature is that it can self-correct, or let's say that it can proofread. It makes a perfect yet distinct text if provided with a faulty one. On the other hand, GPT-3.5 can only make minor changes, more like bad freestyling. It has now expanded its capabilities. The system can now process whole scientific papers and novellas in one go, allowing it to answer more complicated questions and connect more details in any given query. But the fun part is that it still makes mistakes. Yeah, you've heard it right again. There have been claims regarding the authenticity of the information provided by ChatGPT. The multifunctional capability that GPT-4 provides extrudes trustworthiness and confidence. GPT-4 confidently tells you it's created a new chemical compound. For example, you won't know if it's true until you ask a few actual chemists. Now let us get on with the challenges that it's facing. Recent research has shown that some language models using the ChatGPT interface can be accessed with training data, though they're not found to be susceptible to this kind of attack. As a result, Apple has prohibited its employees from using AI products such as ChatGPT because of concerns that this information would leak or be picked up. Is it a lone incident, or have there been accusations from other companies as well? At Samsung, ChatGPT has been involved in a huge data breach where some of the sensitive information was made publicly available by staff members, including source codes from faulty equipment and transcripts of internal meetings. Basically, ChatGPT is not adhering to their right to forgotten clause, which most governments are not pursuing to protect data privacy. Are these only allegations, or is there any truth in that? All user interactions with ChatGPT are saved in the default state of OpenAI. 
These discussions are collected in order to prepare OpenAI systems and may be checked for violations of the company's rules or services by moderators. Let us delve a little deeper to unravel the issues concerning GPT-4. Here, we're going to list out all the cybersecurity threats and attacks that have been reported by ChatGPT or another large language model, LML, AI tool. The four categories currently are as follows. The employees who expose corporate information, open AI data leaks, Fisher attempts, and malicious software, and cybercrime. To put it simply, it'll collect the user's IP address, browser type, and settings, as well as data about his or her interactions with the site, including what types of content he or she is accessing, how features are being used, and actions that they take. First of all, let us look into why there's been an allegation. In order to provide better answers to users, ChatGPT saves the code for future reference. Cyberhaven studies shows more than 3.1% of the workforce is downloading classified information to ChatGPT. Confidential information concerning the company's strategy documents, patient data, software code, and intellectual property that is not made publicly available has been provided to ChatGPT. Cybercrimes such as the theft of personal identities or intellectual property may be triggered by OpenAI's own data leaks. It is creating the possibility of identity theft. AI tools can help improve the creation of phishing content by enabling malicious actors to close the gap between the language and culture of the target organization by selling any personal profile or credentials that were exposed during this leak to malicious actors who can use them to apply for identity documents or credit cards. There have been allegations that it can be used to create disinformation campaigns and conspiracies. This use could have far wider implications than cyber risks. Through ChatGPT researchers use, they were able to script an op-ed which resembled a number of popular websites about conspiracy theories. Now let us look into some of the initiatives on the part of OpenAI to prevent the malicious use of the software. In order to avoid the use of OpenAI's AI tools for criminal or legal activity, it has been trying to introduce controls. It's offering any person who finds an unpatched vulnerability a bounty of up to $20,000. Although there is a view that AI tools will create additional layers of complexity and threats to the cyber landscape, similar technologies have already significantly contributed to defensive capabilities. According to the report, evidence from January 2023 shows that over 1.7 million malware attacks have been stopped by AI-based security tools within 90 days. What can be done to make ChatGPT secure and free from malicious use? Creating awareness against potential misuse and establishing a regulatory body can have a major impact in addressing the challenges. According to UNESCO, regulatory authorities will be faced with the dilemma of balancing various ethics risk for users in areas such as how AI tools can exacerbate discrimination, stereotypes, gender disparities, disinformation, invasion of privacy, and illegal environmental practices. On the other hand, there is another group calling for regulators to slow the development of AI technology until there is a full understanding of the risks associated with mass adoption. But this should be the way forward, because ChatGPT has been the fastest growing consumer app in history, and it has the potential to make life easier. But it is without any doubt clear that GPT-4 will be an enthralling experience owing to its technical capabilities. One can only get the actual experience by trying it out and witnessing the absolute wonders that technology creates. While speculations exist, generative AI chatbots are good at many things and can be useful. Ethical, equity, and privacy issues related to chatbots need to be addressed within the technological pipeline. And in the meantime, let us hope that OpenAI comes up with an upgraded technology, and we'll be back discussing the same. For more videos on AI technologies, press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to stay updated. Until next time, it is goodbye.